I would say stick with these three books because I find that they are amazing. They really be, they're able to bring you in and give you a very good understanding of herbs, their properties, their powers, and what have you. Now, the first book that I would recommend is the Encyclopedia of Magical Herbalism by Scott Cunningham. I love this book. I love this book because he goes into the herbs, what they mean, uh, what they're used for, the planetary ruler. He goes into uh, you know some folk um, information on them. He will give you you know the old um, herbal books names that they used to have, like Lavendula officinalis. He'll go into stuff like that for lavender or Billings root for ginger. Like it's just it's really it's good because a lot of people don't really understand. They're like, okay, well, you know, I might have found this old book and you know it says Billings root or it says this, it says that, it says the other, and you don't really know what it is. He makes that a lot easier for you. He just kind of lays it all out there for you. Now, another thing that I love about this book is that he, at the very back of the book, he gives you what the herbs are. So you can cross-reference very easily. So you can be like, oh, I need a, a herb for love. And he will talk about cinnamon. And be like, cinnamon will be in the love herbs list, right? And then you can always go back into that book and you can be like, oh, okay, so, you know, on top of just being a herb of love, this is the other um, uses that I can use, right? So you will learn that, yes, this can be for love, but it can also be protecting the love that you have and helping develop that love. So, wonderful book. The Encyclopedia of Magical Herbalism by Scott Cunningham must have, for sure. The other book that I really, really love, and a lot of people <clears throat> don't know about this book, and I don't know why they don't know about it, because it's just phenomenal. And any student that I've ever had, when they started looking through this book, they all bought it. They all bought the book. They were like, this book is really good. And that is The Hoodoo Herb and Root Magic by Kathleen Yornwood. Now, all the information of the books are going to be down here at the bottom, so you can get the correct spelling and whatnot. This book is off the hook. I love this book. And what I love about this book is it actually, I wouldn't say it challenges the Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs, but it definitely gives you a completely different perspective. Because you've got to remember, with Scott Cunningham, he's a lot fluffier, right? He is more of a Wiccan witch. Whereas when you look at, you know, Miss Yornwood, she is a hoodooist through and through. So she will tell you new and innovative ways of being able to use herbs that you would have never have known when it comes to Scott Cunningham's, you know, she'll tell you the darker sides to it. Scott Cunningham will talk to you about you know, clothes, being able to spice up love and be able to, you know, bring that warmth in relationships and it has that protective element. But it won't tell you that if you use clothes, you can also use them for domination and control. Kathleen Yorwood will tell you that, right? So I love that. I love the fact that there is that kind of more of a hoodoo flavor to that book. Unreal. So that is a definite must-have in your on your Wiccan shelf. Without a doubt. Once you get that book, you'll understand why. You'll be like, yep, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. This is a good book. Now, the third one that I would highly recommend is the Complete Formulary of Magical Oils. Right? And this is by, let's see here, Celeste Ryan Heldstep. It's a German name. I'm not sure I didn't pronounce that right. But, again, wonderful book wonderful book to have, simply because it gives you so many different magical formulas for like oils, and it's just, it's remarkable. She goes into the base oils and what they can be used to, and I'm going to be making a video on base oils, just to be able to go a little deeper for you guys. But she talks about the base oils, she, talks, she gives you many different recipes for a certain thing, like let's say we're talking about Shiva oil. She'll give you a few recipes of that. She'll give you a few recipes for Ban Ban oil. She'll give you a few recipes for Follow Me Boy oil. She'll, it's just, she's just so good with that. As you grow in the craft, you'll start making your own and you'll start doing different things and trying your own thing. Find out what else works with you because you're using your intuition and you may find that your ancestors tell you, hey, don't be using um, garlic in this. I want you to use something else that has a protective nature to it, like I would say stinging nettle, 
right? Um, to soften, like it's just, it's wonderful that you can do that, but this book is just a good book to have to start that off. Thank you for tuning in and watching me and allowing me to do what I love to do. I love you, boo-boos, and I'll see you next week.